already, like in the last decade, the line between game and film and television are all sort of slowly merging. Unity has Timeline, which is like an editing system. I don't think we could do what we're doing without Timeline. We watch the piece live, and it's got everyone's updates all streaming in all at the same time. Timeline is basically a sequencing tool whenever you need to like orchestrate several different systems. So simultaneously, the animation team is, is doing final animation, but everybody else can still work as opposed to the old linear pipeline where you know, it's a waterfall of each department has to finish before you can move on to the next uh, stage. So it's cool that it's such a fluid kind of development experience. We've got 30, 40 people working on this one, and we wanted to make sure that they were all able to actually get at their individual piece and work on it efficiently. So that's probably one of the coolest things is just how we've actually been able to create this massive, massively scalable workflow for uh, working with Timeline. The big difference is that when you look at like a feature film or what's possible in like ho the normal Hollywood production, there's sort of that visual level of what that is. And real-time tech was down here, and, and the bar has really gotten a lot closer. It's all really pushing the limits of what you can do in real-time tech. We can take big animation problems and uh, divide and conquer them down into a number of scenes, like assets are being worked on and being integrated. So if I go back in and check this later, um, I'll see new assets. What Timeline does is it allows a single person, if they wanted to tell a story in it, they don't need an army of developers behind them. They can go in and they can start working in it. And it's a very familiar process because it's like a nonlinear editor. It feels like some sort of 21st century like playpen of creativity.